Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a 105 Thunder Chief. Ten minutes at a time. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a ten minute video, people. That 30 minute thing took three hours to download last night. But uh, I'll hit you with some of them long ones from time to time. But back to the action. Okay. This is what we have decided. I have not, I'm not quite ready for panel lines. I gave this all a good coat of primer last night and I found a couple issues that I need to fix before I can do them panel lines. And uh, Dad's got a funeral to go to tomorrow. Uh, Sandy, his wife's grandson, was in an accident and he needs to go up by um, Kansas City tomorrow for a funeral. So we decided just to wait till Friday. I got a couple issues in here. That's a tad bit on the rough side in there. It needs a little bit of filling. That has to be really smooth so it'll pull out. Same way here. I got a couple of, just it's kind of rough back in there. I'm going to have to put some sandpaper on a stick. Uh, right here you can see where that's just not a crisp corner right there it is there and it is there but right there it kind of rolls in i want to fix that right here this lip just sticks out just a frickle <laughs> someone told me he got to use the word frickle the other day <laughs> Or you know what frickle's going to be in the dictionary <laughs> frickle's half a frog here that's not very much but mainly it's all looking pretty good this uh, corner is all nice and crisp the other side is all this is uh, that ain't too bad I just might need just a tad bit of filler in there all that lip looks good this side over here looks really good see people this line's going to cut a little bit tight right there need to sand that just a frickle but it's all looking pretty good, you know. And uh, but I want to get it just, just perfect, as good as I can get it before we go putting panel lines on it. You know, I don't want to rush this last little bit and then have a couple little issues with the finished product when uh, we can just slow this train down for a day or so and. Uh, get them fixed and that way uh, you know every airplane we pull out of this mold will be just perfect and that's that's the way I want it you know we're talking a day you know over the life of this mold and uh, it's just worth it you know actually I'll have two days because dad ain't gonna be here tomorrow so I'll have the day and tomorrow I'm going to have to give this whole thing a good old sanding and uh, start going down on my grit. I was still, last time I sanded it, I was still at 220. Uh, now I can back it down to 400 and start making her slick a little. We don't want to get it too slick. We've still got more primer to do. I just want this thing smooth. You know, I'll probably sand it again with 220, then go down to 400. And then uh, once we put the panel lines on it, we can uh, step it down again. We go all the way to 8,000 acre slick, man. But that's where we're at. I want to know you guys was expecting that here this morning. And I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, let you know what was up. I'm going to probably make a couple more videos today. And uh, show you guys a little bit more of the sand in the process you know but basically it's looking pretty good what you think there sharp pencil <laughs> someone, wanted to, someone wanted to know how sharp pencil came up with his nickname and uh and uh I just I was making a video one time and I said, man, 
That Paul, he's one sharp pencil and it kind of stuck. <laughs> but what I want to know is how his wife came up with the nickname Stormy. <laughs> he, he told me about it. He just told me her nickname and that Stormy's a stripper and that's all the info I got. <laughs> There's got to be more to that story. <laughs> Maybe we can get him to share it with us down in Waco. Because <laughs> I know there's a story behind that nickname. <laughs> know what I mean? But uh, basically, that's what I'm at. That's where I'm at. That's what I got going. Basically, it's looking pretty good. Uh, no big issues, just a couple little ones. I uh, just need to feel like I just need to go ahead and take care of before before we get too far along. Don't y'all agree? Just go ahead and spend the extra two days and get this thing just as perfect as I can possibly get it. Then uh, we can put the panel lines on it and uh, I'll be happier in the long run. Sharp pencil will be grinning ear to ear and it's going to be one nice jet. That's the main goal. That's the main goal. It's the finished product. And uh, I think it'd just be worth slowing this train down for a couple of days. You know, I could do it now. I really could and, and make it work, but. I just wanna, I just want that, I'm after that perfection, you know, I don't know, I might be a little too picky, but I just want, I don't want to have to be explaining little flaws <laughs> here and there when I could just take this two days and uh, make it just absolutely perfect. So, that's what I'm going to do. Really looking pretty good. I don't know how this ended up there. It's not much. This little bit right here. I mean, it's not much at all, but I think if I just block sand this corner, because it's fine here and it's fine up here, but right here, that is sticking out just to about the thickness of a piece of paper, you know. Maybe I got too much primer on that or something. Put too much filler, but it's an easy fix because it's not too far this way. Because that side is perfect. This side's all perfect, that's all good. It's right here. You know? I think I would just like to fix it. You know what I mean there, Vern? Everything else just looks awesome. See how them seams have turned out? It's just going to look like one of my panel lines when it's all done. When I pull this out of the mold, you know, and stick that hatch on it, it's just going to look like one of the panel lines. That's what I'm after. You know, and I can make that happen if I just take this two days and make it make it happen. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load this movie and get started sanding. Go ahead and pull it off a little jig, get it on my paint stand there where I can sand it a little better and make her happen. You know, so. We'll be back with some more action pack 105 Built Thunder Chief building action right here in the shop. So stay tuned for another episode of Bob TV. Same Bob time, same Bob station.